Martin Newton and I'm the, uh, the maths lead at the college and we've put this fantastic event on today. We've had an online maths lesson um, with 300 students taking part. It was a mock election so that was going out live to constituencies and then uh, people voted on that and, and decided on a, uh, a winning vote. So uh, we, 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 we had our own election a week before. Uh, what, what's now happening is we've got the, the online, we've got the actual mass fest that's taking place in the Sports Academy at Stoke and Trent College. We've got lots of activities going on. So they've got one behind me here, and that's uh, an activity where people have got to estimate how much toilet roll that it would take to wrap round a person, and then um, they, they, wrap, they wrap them up like a mummy, and then they're going to uh, check by working out the area of a uh, sheet of toilet roll and then um, what the total area is. So that would be body surface area and that can be extended into maths because uh, when people have chemotherapy or various other treatments uh, we need to know their body surface area. Clearly we wouldn't be doing it with toilet roll um, but there are some calculations, uh, some mathematical formulas that students can carry on and use uh, to check what their uh, their, uh, their body surface area is. We've got Professor David Burgess from Plymouth University, he's got an activity, Beat the Professor. <coughs> We've got uh, also from Richard Stakes from Keele University, uh, Steve Pardo from Warwick University. We've got um, the, a couple of awarding bodies, AQA and City and Guilds. We've got lots of students involved, and that's really where the students come into it. You know, they're, they're, they're getting involved in it, and, and they, they've run stalls, members of staff have run stalls. So we've got maths in sport, maths in travel and tourism, maths in catering, maths in IT. Maths is everywhere, actually. So that's what we, what we wanted to do was, um, maths and English, so we're, we're interested in maths. Maths is at the centre of everything that we do at college. If we make the maths right at college, then the rest of it falls into place. So people are good with their maths, they're good with their English, they can get good, um, they can get merits and distinctions and progress on into employment or progress on to university. So what we want to do is we want to, to get rid of the image as maths being a little bit boring and double maths on a Friday afternoon we want to replace that with maths is really exciting and maths in the real world can be really good fun. Hi folks, I'm Julie Johnson, I'm a catering lecturer at stoke on -Trent College and as part of that we've identified that maths is a stumbling block for many catering students. Um, to help them and support them with that, we teach embedded functional maths related to the catering subject so it's very relevant to what they need to do. As you can see here, we've had a, a diet and nutrition activity that the students have designed to make people aware of all of the contents uh, for sugar in drinks. They might be aware of what they're adding and putting on or in food, but they're not aware of the sugar content that they're actually drinking. And this has been quite a revelation to a number of students today. If you have a look on the activity, over here, the students have been encouraged to identify what they think is the sugar content of these very popular uh, drinks that the students are uh, consuming in quite large quantities. Comparing that with the government data, the guidelines of 50 grams of sugar for a, a lady and 70 grams of sugar for a man, then these amounts are being way exceeded in consumption over a daily allowance. That also can lead to uh, particular health problems, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and also it does support a lot of other more serious diseases. Our data today is going to be collated. We're going to do the mean, median, mode, and range of all of the data that we've uh, gathered from the students today. Also, they've been learning about weighing and measuring. They've been estimating. They've been looking at labels and nutrition. And there's lots of mass activities that in everyday subjects like catering that students need to be aware of to make them functional in their chosen vocational subject area. Thank you. Hi, my name's Nora Brain. I'm the uh, GCSE Maths teacher in Burslem, but I also do functional skills maths. Part of the team uh, across the college. What I'm trying to demonstrate today is by pedalling the bike, how much energy is actually used. The light to white ball, the light economy ball, 
and also boil the pepper. And what most people have found is it's quite easy to, to uh, get this light bulb to go. You have to keep this one, the economy one, at a steady pace. And then to boil the kettle, well, to be fair, I'm still waiting for my brew because nobody has managed to boil the kettle. Hi, I'm Linda Bailey. I teach complementary therapies here at Stoke Trek College. And it's really important when we're looking at doing aromatherapy that we're actually doing it from a scientific point of view now and actually using a breakdown of the chemical elements within um, within an essential oil. So I'm getting the students to do today to actually colour in the pie chart with the relevant information here at the side to make sure that this whole pie chart makes a hundred parts. So it's a mathematical equation of how many parts each equates to and actually working it out to make sure all these numbers actually add up to a hundred parts. Hi, I'm Sharon Jones and I'm currently working in the hairdressing department. Um, today's activities are involving ratios, angles, cutting angles um, and measuring activities for our maths best that's taking place. Um, what we're trying to create here is a student's point of view using number and creating a mathematical hairstyle also showing at what degree and angle they're going to be using okay um, my name is david burgess i'm a professor of mathematics education at plymouth university um, i'm actually working on what's called a core mass support project for half my week and as that i'm an advisor to the projects to help schools and colleges who are teaching core mass um, I'm here today because I was invited here to do an activity. The activity is Beat the Professor because we have what are called non-transitive dice. They're rather special dice, they're not like normal dice. This one has all threes on, this one has sixes and twos, this has fives and ones, this one has fours and zeros. And the idea is a student uh, decides which dice they're going to use. I choose my dice, we play the game until the first person wins 10 games. And if you look carefully at the probabilities, and we haven't had a chance to do this here today, in theory, in the long run, I should always win, hence I'm the world champion. Um, it's been good today because, in fact, I'm no longer the world champion. Uh, a student here at Stoke College, uh, I think she was doing uh, child, uh, child care, um, did in fact beat me, and uh, these now become her property. So I'm pleased to be beaten. Um, we did try and explain a bit about probability to her, to her because then she will have it and can use them. Um, but very pleased that to bring uh, sort of what I call some of the. I, I'm always keen to make maths become realistic and therefore to understand what's going on behind it, not just to do something that looks uh, exciting and interesting, but actually to begin to understand why what happens happens. Hello, my name's Lindsay and I teach childcare and um, maths is important in childcare uh, for all different reasons. Um, obviously we have to teach children about, about maths, the basic math skills, so we have to have an understanding of, of maths within childcare. So it's a really important part of what we do and also it comes into things such as making sure we've got ratios for children right and things like bottle feeding which fits into what we've been doing today. So today we've been um, looking at how we safely make bottle feeds for children. Um, we have got to make sure that we get the right ratio of uh, water to the powder of the milk. If we don't do that right, then we can lead to children being underfed or overfed, which can result in serious health problems for children. 